Oh dear, this is a taster of what's to come in the future with the sound of diggers and dump trucks waking me up at nine o'clock in the morning. And that's just two vehicles working on a drive. Imagine the amount of vehicles that will be working on that field when they're building 220 houses. <laughs> Oh boy. Welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day, ladies and gentlemen. And not all mornings are bad because look at this little dude. <laughs> Hi, my boy. Hello there. What a way to start a day. Little dude and Lydia are off on an adventure. I'm going to be joining them in half an hour. And then at 11.30 a.m., I've got a fly to Berry for my physio. But first, what do the scales say? New personal best question mark? Oh my gosh, yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! 68.45 kg! What's 68.45 kg in stone? 68.45 kilograms is about 10 stone 11 pounds. <sighs> 10 stone 11 pounds! What?! I started this weight loss journey at 12 stone 4. What the flipping heck? I'm absolutely buzzing. I've also set my house alarm off. So let's try that one again. Sorted. And let's hit the road. Oh, delicious. Ah, yes. Another lovely journey of being stuck in traffic, it pouring with rain, red lights, and roadworks. <laughs> Please, Summer, will you hurry up, get here, so I can enjoy going to a track day? Thank you, please. to cross over 17,000 miles in the car. Go on, dead boy. I wonder if I'll, I wonder if I'll be able to capture the moment. <laughs> there it is. 17,000 miles. Go on. Oh, what a beast. What an absolute beast. If anyone could explain to me why I decided to drive this car to where I'm going today, I would love to know. Just look at this, man. It, 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 the spray, the water surface on the road, this is just, this is like worst case scenario for driving this car. Why? Just, just why? Oh. oh, that was easily one of the most unfun motorway experiences I've ever had. There was like so many places where you could just aquaplaned. And at points I did, but you know. Drive slow, drive carefully and you'll be a-okay. It's all the bell ends on the road you have to watch out for. And welcome to Berry City Centre, ladies and gentlemen. I've actually never properly been around Berry, So after the physio, I think we're gonna go and have a bit of a peruse and see what we can find. Because apparently that right there is a world famous market. It's very, I want, it, uh, it looks like an outdoor market slash indoor, but apparently it's world famous. So I reckon we go and check it out after our physio. But at long last and surviving a treacherous journey, I have arrived at my destination. And it looks pretty busy. So I'm hoping there's parking. Ooh. There wasn't, but this will do donkey. This all day. But for once, oh, bloody hell, I just turned into that puddle. Look how freaking deep that thing is. And I took that puddle as karma to tell me not to park over there because I realized underneath all the leaves and dirt that there was some like yellowish lines and I can't tell whether they're double yellows. So I went inside, asked where I should park and they said there. So if I get a ticket now, all I can say is I tried. Get me inside a piss wet crew. All right. Oh. I look like a wet dog, I apologize. <laughs> Word heck. Hey, look at this though, come on, so give me credit. Give me hey, credit where credit's due. Five minutes early. Hey, 10 minutes actually, all right? You see, I don't know if I like coming here earlier in the day. I might get here on time, but when I come earlier, I then got a painful shoulder for like the rest of my day. Oh. And I'm just like exhausted from, oh, getting, oh, a massage. But when I come late in the evening, it's just like, oh, I'll just deal with it. This is really painful. <laughs> Nothing about this is fun. No, I disagree. I think we have a good time. Yeah, you might. I think we both have a good time. Speak for We both have a good time. I stood in a puddle when I got here and now this is just <laughs> shit. Oh, mate, you're going to embarrass me to like, giggle like a little girl here. Look at this. Look at the facial oh, expressions. Don't, mate. Oh, I need to relax. 
Oh, mate. This is what people want to see. Ah, no, it's not. It's really not. The one they can't see is when my legs go up in the air, <laughs> flipping egg. I mean, it got us all the way up here. <laughs> mate, that's awful. Oh, that, that's literally like... When you you know you got a bad tooth yeah. and you feel and you feel it. You can like see you let this arm go. You can see the role this muscle plays oh. on. You let oh. this one come away. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay. Ah. Now the heavy machinery is coming in. Yeah. Mm -mm. So this thing is going to hit me six thousand times. Is that um, it? Probably eight thousand. Oh really? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's good. I was going to say, it's just yeah. the one little crack. One. Hey! Oh, I'm nimble. Thank you. That was a good one, that. I, I tell you what, I enjoyed that. It, it didn't actually beat me up too bad. It did look like it was painful, because it was, but I feel good afterwards. Ugh, I'm not about this weather. Day after day, I'm just complaining about it. Something has got to change, and I need a holiday. Hey, we don't have a ticket, and I don't think we have a clamp. We're good to go. Let's go and have a look around the world-famous Berry Market. Oosh! Why am I doing this on just an absolutely atrocious day? I don't know, but I parked it. Go outdoors. I've got a traipse across like 20 car parks. Head down into an underground tunnel. And it should bring me out where I want to go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Spooky! Oh, it smells good. Berry Market Hall open every day. Okay. Okay, okay. You got a burger van, a cheese stall. Freaking ass, some big cheese. Pie shop, clock shop, bookshop, shoe repair guy. And now we're proper in the thick of it. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Fruit stall, carpet man. Oh wow, this is like a this is a proper proper market. Wow! Oh my gosh. This is mega. What? They're selling Egyptian potatoes. I'm confusion. And I'm gonna minute. Why is this cauliflower? Orange. Not a clue. But butchers. Black puddings and then some. Scarves. Oh, sweet stall. Angry lady on a mobility scooter swearing at people. Malulu's place. What is this? What? There's a little restaurant and then a little store. Oh, this looks good. This looks really good. Yeah, thank you. Today's warmer then. You think today's warmer? Oh, I'm bloody freezing. Really? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, my hands are numb. I've gone ahead and ordered a sweet potato croquette, and it's going to take 10 minutes to cook, so I will be right back whilst I explore the rest of it. There's bits and bobs, there's a gold Dutch pancake house, Moroccan bites. Try the sassy house before you buy it. No, <laughs> no way. way. <laughs> another, another fresh fruit stall, but this time it's got the guy promoting it all. I said, this is a proper market. I've only been here for about three minutes and I bloody love it. I've not had any caffeine today and this place is called Danger Close Coffee. Okay. Oh yeah, I was hoping to buy a coffee, but yeah, no, I'll try some instead. Thank you. <laughs> Dangerously close, eh? Yes. Do you make it? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Well, we that, roasted, it smells strong. It is strong. It's not that strong. It's our DCC, that one, the white label. Wow. Right really? Crikey, Joe. That... You said this is not strong? No. <laughs> Blow me eyebrows off. <laughs> Mmm, these mugs are brilliant. What a lovely woman, got a little coffee to keep my hands nice and toasty with. This place is just an absolute maze, but it is amazing. I'm just loving strolling through it. What a wonderful afternoon. Yeah, I take that back as soon as you come out of the safety of inside there. So I'm going into the fish and meat market. Pongi. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. this is mint. I love it, I love it, I love it. Very nice. I reckon my potato will be ready by now. Do, do, do. Hello. Are you okay? Oh, yes. okay. Are you alright? Thank you. And there we go. Berry Market. Thank you very much. I got myself a sweet potato snack. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. Highly recommended. And um, now I'm going wandering around and go outdoors. Because I'm sick of being wet and I'm sick of being cold. So get me indoors. There ain't no way. Come on. On now. Everywhere I look, really useful boxes. Oh, I found the man. I look at this. 
pen knives and pen knives and pen knives. And come on, there's only one brand you ever go with. It's a Leatherman. I don't know why, but I just love stores like this. Look at it. It's just, it's just, it, it's m m man heaven. Gas stove, anyone? There's even an upstairs. Wow. And it's massive. Oh my gosh. Look at this place. Holy moly. Oh my, look at the size of that tent. Me and Alfie are going to be coming here a lot when he's older. Look at the size of this thing. How many man tent is this? Six. Six. Can fit fucking 60 in this thing. Wow. Wow. This is mad. Camping adventure vlog, anyone? Mm? That's pretty impressive that you could put that on the roof of a mini. Everyone's been telling me to do something like this with my Defender. How cool would that be? Oh, off-road adventure and wild camping. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I wasn't expecting to see this here. Thank you. All right. Let's brave the storm. Oh, and there you go. Look, a Defender with, with a tent on top of it. Oh, goals. That's been a lovely wander around, Berry. But I'm ready to go home. God, I cannot wait for summer, man. It's just depressing, isn't it, when you look out the window and all you see is rain. Just misery and despair. I know I usually say, like, make the most of it, but it's bloody shit! Beggar off! Time for a really happy drive home. I absolutely love driving in this weather. It's just, it's everything I could ever imagine about being a car YouTuber. It's the best content. Look at that view. Wow, just amazing. <laughs> it's just as bad at home, the weather. Come on now. I feel like maybe I should stop hating on the rain and maybe I should embrace it. But I, I just, I don't know what to do to, to embrace rain. Do I go like swimming or do I take up outdoor kayaking or something? Like, you know, if you're gonna get wet, you might as well get wet, wet. I uh, don't bloody know. Good day up. Lydia's car is out and someone is in. Who's loose about my house? Is it grandma with my boy? Hi, my boy. Hello, you okay? Is mummy off having a massage? Oh, hiya. <laughs> I'm sorry, but since when? Do you drink like that? Mate, you're, you're only 18 years away from going to pub now, now that you can handle a bottle like that. <laughs> Do you want to go to the pub? Do you want to go to the pub? <laughs> oh, what a guy. I know I've only been back for five minutes, but I'm getting my raincoat on and I'm going out on an adventure because I'm going to seize the day. I'm going to seize the day. And then I'm most likely going to Costco because uh, we need to refill that fridge ASAP. When guests come round, this is an embarrassment. Because I've always prided myself when people come to the house and I can offer them a beverage you know, or a refreshment. I've got everything you can imagine, whether it's a Coca-Cola, a Diet Coke. I want to offer them um, a San Pellegrino. I want to do lemonade or the orange aid one. Uh, you know, I like to give people options if they want an energy drink. I've got Red Bull and I've got Monster. But when I go to the fridge now, I'm like... Um, oh, let's sit down for an evening meal. What would you like with your curry? Oh, I can offer you um, a Red Bull. It's not very good, is it? And the stocks down here are looking pretty dire. We need some more white monsters. I need to get some soft drinks for in here and mixers for cocktails. We're not having a party or anything. I just like to be stocked up, but um, we need to stop talking about beverageinos for a second because we've got a bit of a... Bit of a plot twist. So, you know how the swimming pool's been like offline and I've been putting off getting it fixed? Well, I pulled the trigger to say, let's go for it. Let's get it back online. Let's replace the pool cover because it's like, it's grimy, it's nasty, it's broken. Let's switch it out for something new. And we pulled the trigger on this absolutely gorgeous carbon cover. It's not carbon fiber, it's just the color, but it looks absolutely sick. So I was like, let's go for it. Until today, when I got an email from the pool company saying, hi, Tom, I realized the other day that when I sent you the info for the cover slat options, it was for the the wrong company. Sorry about that. The slats for your pool are the one above. And they're not very good. This was the colour selection I was going for. And this is the colour selection I get to choose from now. It looks like I've been given the colour swatch from my grand's kitchen. What's that about? Uh, I can't tell like whether I'm being upsold here, you know, like where they go, oh, this is yours. And then it's like, you get excited, you choose what you go for. And then it's like, a, oh no, sorry, y y this is not yours. So then you go through a conversation and be like, hmm, well, I like that one now. Well, let let's conversate it. And um, like hook, line and sinker, I've actually just sent an email back being like, I really like the car carbon one, what do we have to do to be able to go for that? So I've sent my email and I think someone's home. Hello. Where are you? Hello. How was your massage? 
Look at you, like being on cloud nine. Oh yeah, relax. Oh well, we're, we're just not needed anymore, I guess. Go grandma, go grandma, go grandma, go grandma. I've been looking forward to this moment all day before I go out on my adventures. I've got meal prep to eat. Rita's rain, thank you. This is about to be delicious. Chicken, rice, vegetables. Oh, it smells so good. I had to put some respect on it and put it on a plate. Cause this just isn't any old food. Oh my goodness, you ready? Mm. Oh my gosh, like jerk chicken, jollof rice. Oh my gosh. Oh, very good. There's so much food here that it's more like a main evening meal than a lunch dish. But hey man, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. Oh my gosh, look at this. I just punched a chicken. I've just found out why whilst I've been sat there, my battery on my phone didn't go up. And it's because when you follow the wire along, it's not plugged in. Oh my gosh, what a potato. Oh, I gained an extra 3% uh, in the time it was on charge there. So that was uh, great. And don't you just love this? As I actually come out of the house to attack and take on the rain, it's nowhere to be bloody seen. So I've got my wellies, my waterproof pants, my waterproof coat, and two pairs of socks on, and it's not even torrential rain. In fact, there's actually clear skies showing. Oh, whatever. We're going on a ramble. Ooh, someone has been busy here. Look at this bad boy, crikey Joe. It looks like the scene from like a movie where a tornado has gone blasting through, but they're just doing a mahoosive extension. If I can actually, this is not me sharing unpublic information, but if I put a picture on screen now, pew, that is what they're planning on making that house look like. So it's getting a massive renovation. And oh my gosh, I can't even imagine the pennies and pounds that's gonna cost. Oh, change of scenery now. Um, we're squeezing through the side of um, gaps and fences. Um, I think I've already gotten lost because I thought this was the gate post I was gonna go through, but as you can see, all these bushes are in the way and beyond this electric fence and that gate there, I think that's where I'm supposed to be walking. Electrical parkour, anyone? Psych. I spoke to a local farmer and I found the path and they said, are you sure you wanna go that way? And I said, yes. One small step for man. One giant leap for my Wellingtons. Well, he's held up. And we've made it to where I want to go. Um, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, I didn't see the barbed wire there, you little bitch. Oh, you bugger. Nearly ripped my bastard pants. All right, now we're really rambling. Don't know where I'm going, and it's really windy. And oh my gosh, it's wet. Excuse my French, but fuck a doodle do. This is absolutely terrible. And that probably explains why I'm walking through a bloody river. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. We made it. And you know what? I'm, I can't believe I'm saying this right now, but I am gutted that it is not raining. I've got waterproof coat on, waterproof pants, and the pissing sun's come out. I came out here to show you who's boss, and instead, you shine upon me? Is it all part of the bigger plan? Was it meant to be? Am I going to make the discovery of a lifetime? Am I going to find buried treasure out here or something? I don't know, but I found another electric fence. <laughs> I wonder if it's even on. Oh my crack, you got Where's my fuck on? Oh, nah. Get me out of here. Where the friggin' hell have I come? I swear, I'm never following this map again. It says go this way. I've got Rambler's maps open. I've got Google bloody maps open. And I'm stuck to a barbed wire fence in a bloody flood. It's gonna go dark soon. I'm gonna be directing via the stars to get home. I've been walking for at least 30 minutes now. Get me to a pub. I can see civilization and I found a kitchen sink. I've never been so happy to see tarmac. And I found a pub. But I simply cannot bring myself to go and drink the calories I've just burnt off whilst paying six pound a pint. So you know what? I've finally hobbled home because I've got blisters on both feet. Even though I'm wearing two pairs of socks, I'm saying hello to this little guy who's just woken up. Hello. <laughs> wow. Heading down into the basement and having myself a well-deserved beverage, you know. And I think I've allowed this one because the walk I just went on to you may have looked like two minutes, but it was two and a half hours of hiking. So I'm getting in the chair, letting down my hair and relaxing. I have just realized I need to make the vlog go live in the next like 15 minutes and I don't have a thumbnail or title already, but eh, nothing like leaving it to the last minute. 
Cheers. <laughs> it's nearly eight o'clock and the vlog went live 23 minutes ago. My apologies. I'd like to blame the massage chair, but that entirely wouldn't be fair. I was just sat there chilling on my sofa, relaxed, and just forgot to make it go live. So I'm really sorry. Now, yes, I did just say it's nearly eight o'clock at night and uh, I'm heading out the house because I'm going to Costco, but it closes in 29 minutes. So we better get going. And oh my gosh, I've never seen it this bad. Look at the water in my footwell. What on earth, man? I told you guys I had a leak, but I didn't realize it was this bad. Oh my gosh, we've got to get this sorted ASAP. Oh, I don't have time to talk about this. Are you ready for the fastest Costco shop? ever because if they let me in i'm about to pull it off oh <laughs> i've got eight minutes to get what i need and get out we sprinted straight to the back corner for hydration we're gonna grab some energy and a selection so that'll do lydia wants some sugar so we'll take two these are not for me but we've got none in the house and it's been a big guest request i've got seven minutes left and i've found the seven pound sack of baby bell look at that you don't pay vat on it beautiful i'm gonna pick up a set of these for lydia that's a bit of a nice surprise and i know she loves profiteroles, so I'm gonna get some of these. This is actually mental. I've never seen this place so quiet. Oh, go on then. A bottle of wine for Lydia's mother. A backup crate, just in case. Or two. And then last but not least, essentials for Alfie. Because you would not believe how many of these we go through. I've got 60 seconds left, and I forgot that in the furthest corner, Lydia's mum wants spicy water. So you're coming with me. If a two-hour hike wasn't enough exercise, oh my gosh, this is. We only gone and done it. And I was the second to last person to check out. <laughs> Never like leaving it till last minute, eh? And Tetris time. Job done. Hey, look at these lazy bones. Leaving their carts everywhere. If you get that reference, you're a legend. Home it time here. Oh, and I'm ready to rest. Cause I'm le tired. I bring gifts. Hot dog. Oh no, no hot dog. Oh. It was definitely closed, closed. <laughs> it's not a hot dog, but it's profiteroles. Oh. Will that do? <laughs> you're on the pop. <laughs> So I brought you profiteroles and then I got you a shot of nerf to pop. <gasps> Ta-da. No, no, Not no, quite no. a hot dog, but I thought you might enjoy it. Oh yeah. Suits you, sir. And if you want to, you can share them. Um, I also saw we were running low so I bought cookies. Very good. Very good. Not quite a hot dog, but I, I get the good stuff. What is going on here? Icky no and mum just devouring profiteroles. Mm. Do you want one? Do you want one? Oh, I know. I can't wait until he's eating like, real adult food. Obviously, I'll be eating children's food, but I can't wait until he's trying things. One last task before I can relax, and that is to take care of this. Oh, and it would seem I forgot about my prawns. Reason 752 as to why the drive leveling thing would be a good idea because I have to take everything from the back of this to the garage. Whereas if it was just flat, I could reverse all the way up to the garage. I'm aware this is me just being very lazy, but after a two and a half hour hike today and, and I've got the gym tomorrow, um, that, would, that would be great. <laughs> I provide nappies. And Lydia provides me with food, thank you. Could be one of the strangest things I've ever eaten off a box of nappies, but it's a beef bagel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Lydia, that's lovely. Oh my gosh, and the bagel. It's a different kind of bagel. It's apparently like a protein bagel or something like that. Oh my, wow. Oh, I brought the Defender on the back to fill up the bar. And it's just hit me like an epiphany of what the hell am I doing? Running to Costco doing this stuff. When I need to get the entire garage back section emptied out. I farted then, sorry. <clears throat> uh, my apologies. <laughs> I need to get the entire back section of the garage emptied out by Friday because Phil, the electrician's coming to run the wiring in. So what am I doing? I've got my priorities all over the place. <laughs> and once I've emptied this, I plan on playing darts for a bit. So um, it, it's fine. I'll leave everything till last minute. And somehow or another... It kind of always works out. What? Why is there, why is there random worms at the back of my house? The bloody hell's going on here, like? Is someone trying to attract the crows? Oh no! I will warn them not to try and bother turning up because I've recently just got a new arsenal of weaponry and I am not afraid to use it. My gates have opened because little Juan is leaving. Come, 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 give me a hug. Look at this, I love you. Oh okay. no, okay. quick. No, go, go. Like Indiana Jones style. Da, 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 da. Oh, <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, 
<laughs> oh no, <laughs> love you. See you later. Have you been putting worms near my back door for some reason, boy? Because if I find out it was you, Alfred! Right, you're going in the bin. What can I say? Like father, like son, and yes, I totally just blamed uh, one of my farts on my child. It is what it is. And this is awful. So with the power of a transition. Oh, that is more like it. We've got Lucas A, Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, San Pellegrino, Apple Sizer, Monster, Red Bull, Peroni, and a sprinkle of Madri in there. We've got water, ginger ale, tonic water, two random beers. We've got spicy water, a Lucas A Sport, almond milk, Chilu, Chulo, apple sour drink or something. And then even more backup tonic waters in case we don't want to open the entire big bottle. And it's looking very, 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 very good. It's a shame the same can't be said about the garage. Why is there spare tires, speakers, and Christmas decorations out here? I don't even get me started about this lot. That is quite literally a headache for another day, and that headache being tomorrow. Well, this is tomorrow, and I've not yet started tidying out the garage. Um, I am also wearing a shirt that I feel like doesn't fit me anymore. Um, go weight loss journey, but there's a reason why I'm wearing this. And that's because I'm actually going off to a funeral. I'm just putting this at the end of today's vlog because I just want to throw this out here, prepping people for tomorrow's vlog, that it's going to be like a short vlog. I'm surprised if there'll be any vlog at all just because um, I'm here enough to pay my respects to Becky's daddy passed away. So obviously I don't vlog this sort of stuff. I never would even think or dream about that, but I just always want to remember the legend that we've lost, which is Dave. I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm weird with these sort of things because when it comes to loss, I'm like a roller coaster of like angry, then I'm sad, then I'm happy because it's like you remember the person rather than getting caught up in all the, the the sadness of it. But then it's just like, I ride that constant wave of like, it's not fair, you know, miss them, and but what a great person they were. So I'm just going to go off, pay my respects, and I'll be back with the proper vlogs probably the day after, guys. So yeah, just throwing this out here at the end. Do me a favour, tell your family you love them. I'm literally going to bring my dad after this and tell him, um, that I love and I'm thinking of him because he's 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 fine, but he's like constantly been ill the past few weeks and he's had a chest infection and all this sort of stuff. And man, you just it's just life, isn't it? I know it's not like I'm having like a midlife crisis here at the end, but you all of a sudden just roll of the dice and everything can change. So the ones that you love and hold dear, tell them you care about them, and always remember the good times so i'm gonna go now guys i hope you enjoyed the vlog i know it was all over the place but that is what i kind of do in the life of tom and um for next time i think i'm going to need a shirt that fits i used to be squeezing out of this no joke on the chest area and everything i used to be like boom bulking out that's why i got a bigger size because i was I was, I was a big lad right? i was a big lad so yeah i think we might have to go down a size which is absolutely crazy but guys look after yourselves stay safe and i'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m for the next vlog which will be a short one, but nonetheless, there will be a bit of a vlog. So thank you. You're awesome. And adios.